Some anime thrillers are good, and then there's The Promised Neverland Season 1, which sets itself apart as a true masterpiece. But what exactly made it stand out from the rest? Was it the jaw-dropping twists, the intense psychological tension, or the flawless character development? Today, we're diving deep into why Season 1 of The Promised Neverland isn't just great, it's a masterpiece that changed the way we think about anime storytelling. Season 1 of The Promised Neverland excels because it seamlessly blends tension, strategy, and emotional depth. From the brilliantly paced story to the haunting character dynamics, every element works together to create a near-perfect viewing experience. Let's break down the key elements that made this season such an unforgettable success. So welcome guys, my name is Ari and I'm going in with another anime deep dive, so let's get started. Perfectly Crafted Suspense from the very first episode, The Promised Neverland sets the stage for a story filled with high stake tension. It grabs you and never lets you go. What makes the suspense in season one so perfect is how it's built layer by layer. In the first few episodes, we see the children living happily at Gracefield House and everything seems normal. But once the horrifying truth is revealed that the children are being raised as food, the tone shifts dramatically. The tension skyrockets and suddenly every scene becomes a ticking time bomb. What's brilliant is how the show never lets you relax. Whether it's Emma and Norman plotting their escape, Ray's secret betrayal, or Isabella always being one step ahead, there's a constant feeling of dread. This show uses this tension to its advantage, keeping viewers on edge with expertly timed reveals and cliffhangers that make you desperate to know what happens next. This suspense isn't just about fear, it's about the constant uncertainty of who can be trusted and whether escape is even possible. The pacing is flawless, giving us just enough time to breathe before dropping another shocking revelation. It's this perfect balance of tension and anticipation that makes season 1 stand out as a true masterpiece. Complex and relatable characters the heart of The Promised Neverland is its cast of incredibly complex and relatable characters, each with their own strengths, flaws, and motivations. Emma, Norman, and Ray aren't just your typical anime protagonists, they're kids, but they're also strategists, fighters, and survivors. Emma's fierce loyalty and determination to save everyone, Norman's calculated intelligence, and Ray's internal struggle with betrayal all give the story emotional weight. But what makes these characters so relatable is how they handle impossible situations. They're scared, they're vulnerable, and they don't always know what to do, but they push forward anyway. Their decisions feel grounded in reality, and that makes their victories and losses hit even harder. Isabella is also a standout villain because she's not purely evil. Her motivations are understandable, even if they're horrifying. The death of her character adds a layer of moral complexity, forcing the audience to grapple with whether she's a villain or a victim of the system. It's this emotional death that makes us care about these characters. The story doesn't rely solely on shocking twists. It builds genuine connections between the audience and the characters. When Emma cries, we feel it. When Norman faces his fate, we feel that too. And that's what sets the show apart. It makes the stakes personal. Brilliant storytelling and twist. Season 1 of The Promised Neverland is a masterclass in storytelling with twists and turns that are not only shocking but also incredibly well earned. The storytelling is tight with no wasted moments. Every scene, every line of dialogue has a purpose. From the very first episode, the show drops subtle hints about the true nature of the orphanage. And once the twists begin to unravel, it all comes together in a way that feels both surprising and inevitable. One of the biggest twists is Ray's betrayal, which could have felt forced in a lesser show, but here it's handled with such care and nuance that it feels natural. Ray's internal conflict, his love for his friends, and his desire to survive all build up to this moment, making the reveal emotionally devastating. And then there's Norman Shipman. His calm acceptance of his fate and the impact that has on Emma and Ray creates one of the most powerful emotional climaxes in the series. It's not just about the twists themselves, but how they are delivered. Each one is a carefully placed piece in a larger puzzle. The show's twists aren't there for just shock value. They serve to deepen the story and the relationships between characters. Every revelation feels earned and that's what makes the storytelling in The Promised Neverland so masterful. It respects the intelligence of its audience, rewarding careful attention with layers of complexity. Psychological Death and Themes 
At its core, The Promised Neverland is a psychological thriller that explores themes of trust, survival, and the loss of innocence in ways that resonate deeply. What makes season one so impactful is how it dwells into the psychological state of the characters. The children aren't just running from demons, they're grappling with betrayal, fear, and the knowledge that the world they knew is a lie. The show constantly plays with the idea of trust. Who can the children rely on when even their friends may have secrets? This creates a tense atmosphere where every decision feels like a gamble. The psychological manipulation by Isabella adds another layer, as she uses her role as mom to control the children emotionally, not just physically. The loss of innocence is a major theme, as we watch the children go from carefree and trusting to suspicious and hardened. Emma, Norman, and Ray are forced to grow up too fast, and the mental toll this takes on them is part of the series' brilliance. This psychological death elevates The Promised Neverland beyond a typical survival story. It's not just about escaping the demons, it's about the emotional and mental scars that come with fighting to survive in such a twisted world. This series doesn't shy away from the hard questions, but that's what makes it so compelling. Season 1 of The Promised Neverland is a masterclass because it's more than just a thrilling escape story. It's a carefully crafted exploration of trust, survival, and the human spirit, all set against a backdrop of tension and psychological horror. The characters are relatable, the twists are earned, and the storytelling is flawless from start to finish. But what do you think made The Promised Neverland Season 1 so special? Was it the suspense, the characters, or the psychological death? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe for more anime deep dives. Thank you, bye guys! Thank you.